We're going to the beach today and I'm so excited. The Airbnb we're gonna stay at looks insane. So I'm gonna give you a tour of that and show you just some little clippies from our time. Okay, bye. When we first got to Wilmington, we went to the grocery store to pick up some things for the Airbnb and then we went straight to the beach. I love coming to this part of the beach to see the beautiful sand sculptures. This evening was so relaxing. Truly, nothing beats a night at the beach. There's just something about it. We took a walk and collected shells and had ourselves a great stinking time. I told Jenna I wanted to act like one of the Hallmark girls contemplating her life walking along the beach after she gets dumped before they get back together, of course. So that's what I'm doing here. These are my siblings enjoying the moment and the beauty of the beach. We watched the sunset and got ice cream and then we headed back to the Airbnb, which I'll give you a tour of now. The foyer when you walk in is super cool. There are portraits and these hand hooks, and there's also a yellow brick road. That opened up into what I would call a parlor, which was very fun. It had this tiger rug, and I brought a pair of pajamas that matched it exactly on accident, which was crazy. Every room was so cool. This one was like, I don't even know the theme. There was cake on the wall and neon signs and a pizza lady. I very much appreciated the different statues throughout the house. The kitchen was one of my favorite parts of the house, just based on these shelves and the tile wall alone. I definitely want to implement that into my home one day. It was stocked with every kind of appliance you could ever need. It even had a Bob Ross toaster. In case you're new here, Presley is my niece, she's not my daughter, and I am not a mother. And that brings us to the main living room. I loved the blue cloud couch, and the mural on the wall, and the disco ball. It was just such a fun, eclectic place to stay in. In the back of the house, there were four rooms and two bathrooms, which worked out great for everybody staying. And each room had a desk that you could get ready at or do your work at, whatever you need to do. And that concludes our tour. Then we played this game where we tried to shoot a pelican down with a Nerf gun off of a lamp. None of us ended up getting it. And we finished off the night watching the VeggieTales Jonah movie. to read my book and listen to the birds chirping. It was a super peaceful way to start the morning. And then ideally, this is when I was gonna go to the beach to do Pilates. It didn't end up happening, but this is what I would do if I did. I washed my face and put on my vitamin C serum and my moisturizer. I also put on a tinted moisturizer because I had tan on and I didn't want to not match. Since we didn't end up going to the beach right away, I did my hair and my makeup. I crimped it, which is so nice for the beach because it stays all day. Good? Mm -hmm. mm. And then we finally made it out of the house for the day. We started at Drift, which is our favorite coffee shop in Wilmington. Then we took a little leisurely drive to admire the beach houses, and we ended up stumbling upon a little group of baby geese, which were so fuzzy, they were precious. 
We spent the morning taking a bunch of pictures. We went and got coffee and now we're about to go to the beach to take some more pictures. It's been a very fun time thus far. So, oh, and I did my nails for the beach, like mermaids. Every time I try to show my nails, it does not focus on them. There she goes. My mom and I were brainstorming different photo shoot ideas for while we were here and we ended up going with a flowy white dress prancing around in the ocean with the waves and at one point I ended up laying in the ocean. It was a whole thing. But I will say it was a very freeing feeling to be in the ocean with a full face of makeup and my hair done. Just going for it. From this point forward, the clips I got are pretty sporadic, but this night we went to the beach again and watched the sunset. It was gorgeous. Okay. Then we attempted to have a kava picnic on the beach, but the seagulls had other plans, so we ended up having a beach adjacent picnic. Last night we went to a little outing to a strawberry farm which was straight out of a Hallmark movie and I loved looking at the flowers, so did Presley. We played lots of hide and seek in here. We ended the night with a very bubbly photo shoot and then I didn't get any clips the next day but we just went to the beach and chilled and went home. It was such a fun time and I'm so thankful we got to go the end.